Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. Looking at Psalms 23 today, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Verse 4 again, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. One of the great assurances in this life is that when you trust Christ as your Savior, he is your great shepherd. He is the great shepherd, is he not? He is the one who will lead us, whether we to the mountaintop experiences or the lowest valleys in the, in the shadow of death. We all go through those, those, those valleys of, where the shadows dwell. And uh, I've gone through there many, many times. I've lost two children, two children, and um, in the in the valley. I've lost my parents. I've lost good friends. That valley, that valley. He says, well, you know, when we go through that valley, we don't have to fear anyone or anything or any evil because God is there. He is always there. He is our blessed assurance. He is our provider. He is our protector. He is our great assurance. The great assurance is that if, if our loved ones have passed on, if they have a relationship, if they've, uh, if they've repented of their sins and trusted Christ as their Savior, they're in heaven, and we will see them once again. Ah, there's a great assurance in that, isn't there? That valley of the shadow of death. We go through that valley when we lose loved ones, and when we grieve the loss of of, of those around us and we know unless the rapture of the church takes place that we'll all go through that valley as well and I'm so thankful that I don't have to go through that valley by myself and uh, that, that my great shepherd is there and um, you know it's so important for us to remember those things you don't know how dear your faith is how important your faith is until you go through those times of great loss, there's times of great grief. You lose someone suddenly, or you lose someone uh, that is very close to you, and and there that that grieving that takes place there within our soul. And um, and I wish I could say it gets better, um, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It's still there. And um, we continue to walk through that valley. But we continue to hold on to the Savior's hand. Keep holding on to the shepherd's hand, knowing that he is there. And as he led them through that valley, he's going to lead us through our grieving. And he's going to lead us through our time in the valley ourselves. Amen. I don't know where you're at. I know I'm talking to people who have lost loved ones. Dear friends or or, or siblings or children or spouses or, or whatever and um, let me tell you this you're not alone the promise here is that the shepherd is with you the shepherd is with you you keep holding on to his hand you keep spending time with him in prayer keep spending time in, in the work keep spending time in church keep spending time with him and you're going to feel his presence guiding you and, um, and taking you through the valley that you're going through today. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.